So this is it. This must be World War Three now, or is it? Hi, this is Everyday Prepper. Welcome to the channel. I was watching the news yesterday in anticipation of what was happening with the missiles from Iran being sent to Israel after uh, Israel were uh, launching a ground invasion into Lebanon. So many red lines being crossed here. And as soon as the news came up that the US had in some sort of intelligence that Iran were about to launch um, ballistic missiles to, towards Israel, uh, and then we had confirmation of the launch, and we knew they were going to take between five and ten minutes to get there because they're travelling you know, anything from uh, four or five thousand miles an hour up to ten thousand miles an hour. It kind of all escalated from there. Well, on the news it did anyway. If you go to... Uh, YouTube or any sort of news outlets, all you see is World War Three this, World War Three that, this is it, biblical times, uh, get prepared, etc, uh, etc. Et I'd like to talk about this rationally and I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this because you know everyone wants a world war right we're all we're all sitting waiting for the world war everyone loves it people love all the click that's why that's why people do it for clicks they put all these headlines up saying it's world war 3 because they know they're going to get clicks because people love it um so this will probably get no clicks because I'm going to be talking about why I think that this is not going to escalate into World War III. Uh, certainly not yet. Um, is World War III inevitable? Probably, the way the human race is behaving uh, these days. Looking at this from a historical point of view, you know, we had uh, the Gulf War in the 90s, early 90s, where uh, Iraq invaded Kuwait, and the US and the UK both teamed together. We were, we were scrambling jets, and we were fully at war with, uh, with Iraq. We got them out of Kuwait. Um, you still had nuclear powers involved, so, uh, including Russia and China. Now, um, I heard a commentator the other day saying that um, the World War III won't look like World War II, and I, and I get that, because in World War II we didn't have nuclear powers. Um, the only p people who had nukes at the time were the US, obviously they used it at the end of the World War II. Um, but a World War III, he was saying, was because of the mutually assured dis destruction, uh, no state is going to want to, to launch a nuclear weapon. So they'll, what they'll do is they'll fight proxy wars. So you'll end up with a World War III where you have proxy wars. So we've got the Ukraine. The US are at war with Russia, essentially, or NATO is at war with Russia, um, kind of using uh, Ukraine as the proxy ground for that war. Same as with the, the Middle East. You know, the US is pretty much at war with Iran, uh, with the proxy being um, uh, Israel and, uh, and now Lebanon. Uh, There's a common denominator here, isn't it? What I'm saying is that even back in that time, I know that China wasn't as a superpower and as an economic power as it is now, uh, back in the 90s, and Russia was, partial, well, was pretty much dissolved at the time and had its own economic problems. It was still part of the negotiations and part of the diplomatic efforts to stop the, the whole thing during the Gulf War escalating into a worldwide war with um, nuclear powers. You know, and I get that things are very, very different now. I, I do get that, but what I'm, what I'm saying is I still believe in that it, although you might not think it I still believe in the diplomatic efforts of various um, nations around the world will be coming together in the background um, and it won't be reported on the news of course because it's not sensational it's not it's not clickbait it's not uh, it's not going to get advertising re revenue uh, because it's boring so any diplomatic efforts will be going on in the background and I, I still have hope that that will happen um, you know even if even if I'm wrong and this does this is the start of World War three as a lot of people are saying this is it now we're in World War three um, you know, last night I just got a bit bored of the whole thing because then they were talking about Israel are going to now attack Iran or the US is now going to attack Iran uh, and it's all going to escalate from here. Um, in the end, I just I switched off my uh, all the news channels and I just did some gaming and, uh, because I thought, well, what else am I going to do? If this is World War Three, um, am I prepared if all the light, if all the lights suddenly go out, you know, like we have a massive EMP attack, a new uh, detonation in the UK by somebody um, and it takes out our grid, am I prepared? Yeah, as best I can be. I've got about three or four different um, solar systems around my house that can power all sorts of stuff um, and I'll be able to live my life pretty ordinarily. Um, uh, you know, I've got, uh, I've got other preps, I've got food, I've got water, I've got all the preps I can possibly, possibly have, um, and I, which I still add to every now and again, but the, the, this comes to a point where you have to kind of think, 
you know, am I just going to be panicking, looking at looking at the news each each day and, and thinking, oh, it's escalating. What do I do now? What do I do? It's all about panicking you. It's all about getting that um, addictive fear response. That's what all this all this news and clickbait is about. Uh, and as I said, you know, people love it. They they love all the uh, uncertainty. They love all the you know they, they love all all the fear porn as they call it and you know all the boring stuff just gets um, put to the wayside so you know I'm still holding out hope for that um, but as I said you know what, what can you do about this well just look make sure you've got your water make sure you've got your food make sure you've got some form of shelter if you had to get out of your of your house um, make sure you've got some kind of plan to get out to maybe get out of a different entrance of your house as well like out a window or something like that if there was a fire if there was riots in the streets uh, it depends on your location you going to be you're going to be prepping differently depending on where you are as well um, and make sure you've got some kind of alternative power as well especially if you're going to be bugging in you're going to be wanting to use your house and and you'll want some kind of power and if all the power goes out have an alternative um, you know whether it's one of these uh, all powers or eco flows uh, units just a you know quick uh, you know you pay out you shut out big bucks for it but you've got that in in the background and then that can uh, that can run you know when you need it to um, or you could build your own system uh, as I've portrayed in a couple of my videos where you, you know and I've put together my own systems I, uh, just through my choice that's the way I like to do it but you know have the preps that you think you'll need to live your life normally if there was massive disruption around the world and that's all you can do uh, other than that if you feel entertained by you know watching all this uh, World War 3 rhetoric going on all over the place literally um, you know I remember back in in the in the 90s when when all this was happening in fact I remember Yugoslav war I remember I was in Yugoslavia when they were training with Russian MiGs and they were uh, training the, um, uh, I don't know which side it was now, but they were training them over the islands where I was, I was camping and I was windsurfing out to those islands and collecting shells that they dropped where they were training on the, uh, on, on, training bombing on the island, doing bombing runs on the islands. Um, and that was, about, uh, that was in 88 um, just before it all kicked off a few years later and then of course you had the Gulf War and everything else but none of these conflicts ended up in a world war they ended up in horrible really nasty major wars but not a world conflict uh, which I hope we never see. So I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this um, because it's not really what people want to hear but I think people really want to hear that it is World War 3 and it's all kicking off and everything else um, but I, I don't really want that. Um, I, when, when I've sat down and really considered it, no I don't want that. Yeah I want to be able to use my preps, yeah I want to be able to justify the fact that I've spent a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of effort, a um, hell of a lot, uh, on a putting together my um, my solar systems, putting together all my other stuff, getting all organised uh, for you know a major catastrophic event. Really, if I consider it properly, I don't really want to use any of it. I don't want to have to use. I don't want to have to use any of it. Uh, you know, I might I might take it out camping with me and use a bit uh, and, and sort of play play World War Three, if you know what I mean, uh, camping, but in a safe environment. Uh, but I really don't want a World War Three at all. I'm just interrupting because I'm putting this video together. Um, I've just been uh, come home from work, um, but I did want to say also. I want to make this clear. I'm not playing this down. Um, that you know, I'm not playing down the fact that there are millions of people that are currently displaced um, on on both on all sides of this conflict. Um, people who've had their lives completely devastated, their homes destroyed, and everything else. And I, and I do realise, I, you know, I'm lucky not to be in that situation. So you know, for some of these people, um, it may feel like absolute Armageddon to them. Um, so. So it's all right, you know, me sitting here watching the news from afar and uh, seeing well, it's all happening over there, it's not happening to me. Which is why I suppose it's it's fascinating because you kind of think, God, whatever, you imagine, you, you put yourself in that scenario, uh, almost like a film. That's what it feels like anyway. Um, but I don't want to downplay the fact that uh, there's a lot of people that are are suffering greatly uh, as a result of this. But that's, again, still not to say that uh, this is going to turn into a major uh, world war. So I'm hopeful, just wanted to put a different perspective that doesn't seem to be really out there very much. You know, um, if you if you look for reasons for World War Three happening right now, you'll find them. If you look for reasons for a diplomatic efforts diffusing all of this situation eventually, although it all seems like it's kicking off right now, you'll find them. Um, so, you know, do a bit of research. I'm not a massive historian. Um, all the history is is online. It's easily it's easily uh, obtainable. Um, just look into it. We've had there have been major conflicts in the past since. 
uh, World War II with nuclear power states where it hasn't escalated into a World War III. So um, that's my take on it. Uh, I hope I'm right. And uh, but I still keep a close eye on things and what's going on. And of course, I keep on prepping, keep topping up my preps, keep ensuring all my solar stuff and all my batteries are all uh, topped up and, and ready to go in case something does happen. Uh, that's what we really can do. So uh, I'll be looking forward to going camping again soon when the weather stops absolutely chucking it down. Not that I would mind camping under a tarp in the rain. Um, I did that the other night. Um, but I've got some other stuff I want to try out as well. So uh, hopefully be doing a video on that soon. Uh, in the meantime, appreciate you watching and stay prepared. Mm -hmm.